Hi all. In my today's video class, I'll talk about uh, WebSocket implementation of Jetty server. Uh, before starting that, uh, I will just uh, will, I'll give you a brief idea of WebSocket. Uh, so if you see the WebSocket at over this side, you can get more idea on that. So WebSocket uh, specification talks uh, is a new uh, JavaScript API in HTML5. Uh, so it defines a full du duplex uh, single socket connection over uh, uh, your server and client. Um, that means we don't have to, uh, we, we don't need any third party libraries or any JavaScript APIs through which we can communicate, we can establish a communication between server and client. Uh, in other means, we can achieve server, server push uh, through WebSocket API. So WebSocket API is still in draft version. You can get more info uh, on WebSocket from this site, dev.w3.org slash HTML5 slash WebSocket. Uh, so in this site, you will get all information of, uh, all specification information about the WebSocket, what and all methods are there, uh, the lifecycle callback methods of WebSocket, how to uh, establish a connection. All the information will be provided over here. Uh, so when, it, when we talk about uh, uh, duplex communication between server and client, so there are two things. Uh, uh, available in this scenario. So one is the server side part and one is the client side part. So client side anyway WebSocket API is available in HTML5 uh, supported browsers. Um, and the second thing is the ser server side API. Uh, so server also needs to communicate with the client and uh, there should be a mechanism to achieve this. So as of now in Java we have lot of libraries which <coughs> support web, so WebSocket uh, server side implementations. So those are Atmosphere, uh, Atmosphere API, then Grizzly web, uh, WebSocket API, uh, then we have JT, then now Topcat has native support to WebSocket, Glassface has already support to uh, WebSocket. Even if uh, a new JSR has been uh, uh, formed now, so it's called JSR 356, so there will be a standard uh, Java server specification, API specification for WebSocket, but still it has not been uh, uh, will get. Uh, so there will be a uh, uh, vendor specific implementation uh, for this uh, server side WebSocket API implementation. Uh, so in my demo, I'll use uh, WebSocket uh, implementation of Jetty server. Uh, so Jetty is a very lightweight uh, web container which has JSP uh, and um, server supports. Uh, so I have used uh, JT8, uh, then Eclipse Juno, and uh, um, any HTML5 compliance browser. So I have Chrome, Firefox, Mozilla. Uh, I doesn't support WebSocket because it's not uh, it's not fully uh, it, it doesn't have full featured HTML5 uh, support. Uh, for that reason, I will showcase this demo on um, Safari browser or a Chrome browser. Even if we can do the demo on uh, Firefox also because all three browsers support the WebSocket API. Uh, to get started, uh, I have already downloaded uh, JT8 distribution file. Uh, you need one more thing here. You have to download the ASM 3.1 jar or ASM all dot jar, any one of them, and you have to put them into your leaf folder because when we uh, use WebSocket uh, servlets, then um, it uses some classes in the ASM jar, jar file. Um, so, so this is a typical installation directory of JT8 installation. I have configured the JT8 with my Eclipse Juno IDE. Uh, you can, if you can see the server node, uh, I have already configured JT8.1. And with that, I have just created a dynamic web application. Um, so to get started, uh, let's start with the server side end. Then uh, I'll move to the client side. As I told you, we need uh, uh, this, this demo will consist of two parts. One is server side implementation and one is client side implementation. Uh, so let's first see um, the server side implementation. So uh, JT has, in the JT server, it has created a class called WebSocket uh, Servlet. It's a servlet class. So if you want to create a server side WebSocket component or something like that, then we have to extend our servlet to WebSocket servlet. So it has JT's, uh, like this is in JT's API. So you can see the package declaration here, org eclipse.jt.websocket or WebSocket servlet. Uh, so uh, this particular package, org.eclipse.jt.websocket has uh, a lot of classes, um, a lot of classes which are used 
for the server side implementation of WebSocket API. Uh, so you, when you do that, you have there is an abstract method. So we have to override the do WebSocket connect method. It takes an uh, request parameter as uh, one parameter and maybe a string argument. And <coughs> the written type of this particular method is a WebSocket uh, interface. Um, so what does that what does that mean? This particular servlet, uh, the internal functionality of WebSocket uh, uh, web, WebSocket API will be done by a class which implements the WebSocket interface. So I will go through one by one. So first of all, we, create, we have created a uh, servlet which extends WebSocket uh, servlet. Then I have written the abstract method of WebSocket servlet. So and what is the next thing it has? This particular method has to return a class which implements this WebSocket API, sorry, WebSocket interface. So I have created a class, class EcoSocket implements WebSocket dot on text message. So this is an inner interface. So this is another interface which is there inside WebSocket uh, interface. Uh, so there are a few interfaces are there inside. So if you uh, see, there are WebSocket dot on text messages when you are handling any uh, simple text message. In, uh, text messages then you can use this interface then on binary message for binary data transfer on frame message like on frame like you, we have to send some data in frame wise then we can uh, use this interface as of now we will just use this on text message because uh, it will be pretty simple example now the main part is the connection class the so connection interface which uh, uh, through which we can communicate to client and we can send the message to client. Uh, so this text on text message interface has uh, three three or four methods: on close, on open, on message, and on error. Uh, so these are the main methods. Like whenever we uh, a connection is created from client or a, whenever client is making a request to server, this on open method will be called. And similarly, when the connection is terminated by client, uh, this on close method will be called for. Similarly, we have a method called on message. So whenever a message will be arrived from client, that means client is sending a message, this on message method will be called. And as I told you, we have uh, this connection interface has a method called send message. So what it does, it will send a message to the associated client. Uh, so while uh, showing the demo, I will just show you how it works. Uh, this is the simplest example like implementation of uh, uh, server side component for WebSocket API. Now we we'll move to uh, the client side or uh, HTML or JSP pages. Um, so the first thing is the host, the URL, the protocol and the URL, what protocol uh, uh, through which we, uh, like how can we create uh, a WebSocket API in JavaScript. As, as, as I told you in client side we use WebSocket API, Java, uh, sorry, WebSocket JavaScript API. So first we have to know how to create a WebSocket API in JavaScript. Uh, so WebSocket, uh, uh, it, it communicates through a protocol called WS, it's a new protocol. And if it is secure, then the protocol is WSS, or else in normal way it is WS, and your host, port, uh, then application name. And uh, this is the server side component, or like server side WebSocket component. In my, in our case, it's eco socket servlet, and the URL pattern is eco. So that's why I have given echo. So you have to remember the protocol is WSS, host, then port, then application name, and the um, server side WebSocket API or uh, component. <coughs> now, uh, you can see this. Uh, I have created a WebSocket API, uh, sorry, object uh, by creating a new instance of WebSocket uh, interface. And it takes a parameter of host. Host is nothing but the complete URL of your uh, WebSocket uh, server. So my WebSocket uh, URL is this WS has colon double slash localhost colon double eight zero eight zero slash chart slash echo. Uh, so through which, so if your browser is compatible with HTML5 and it, if it supports WebSocket, then it will give you a WebSocket uh, connection object. Now uh, the moment it is get connected, <coughs> it has some lifecycle callback methods. Uh, there are a few methods called on open, on open, on message, and on close. So, what it does, whenever we create an object, 
of uh, web socket uh, the client um, will, will create a uh, connection with uh, server and whenever the web socket connection is open then this on open method will be called similarly whenever a message is pushed by server so uh, your server is pushing a message through web socket channel uh, at that time this on message will be called and similarly whenever <coughs> server closes the connection then this on close method will be called Similarly, it has a method called uh, send. So uh, you can send any mess, any text message, any any text value with this method. With this method, so this is a WebSocket API method. And similarly, it has close method also. Client has an option to close the connection, so it terminates the uh, session of WebSocket. So um, so what I have did, I just uh, created some input text box. And uh, a connection button where I'm initializing the WebSocket uh, object, uh, then a send message button and a close button. So I'll just show you the dem demonstration over here. So I have already uh, deployed uh, my application over here, and I'm going to access that. So this is Ecorot JSP. So if you can see Ecorot JSP here. So let's refresh this. Now, uh, what I'm going to do? Do I, the moment I click connect button, uh, this connect method will be called. So what it does is create an object of WebSocket API. So it creates that. Now, uh, so after creating an object, the lifecycle uh, fallback method has called has been called. So it is uh, WS dot on open. As you, see, as you as you can see, uh, this particular alert is coming over here, connected to server. So that means our connection is to connection is established with server. Now next is um, I'll type something in my text box, and the moment I click on this send message button or the send message button, I'm going to call this function, and internally this function calls uh, the WebSocket send uh, method. So so what it does it it just sends a message to the server. So in my server side, if I go, the moment I uh, I create an object of WebSocket API, uh, this particular uh, instance will be created. A new uh, a new instance of this Eco Socket class will be created, and the on open method will be called. Now in this method, it it it, it gives you a connection object. So I am just type I am just assigning my connection object to the connection object created by uh, the server the API. So the moment I type here, hello, I type here. I click the moment I click on here. So if you can see this on message method is being triggered. So you can see this uh, print out this this print line is coming over here. Hello, Jyoti. Uh, now what I am doing after that, I am sending some message to the client that saying for from server I am just happening. Um, the text called from server, and I'm sending the same message to client. And if you go back, you can see let's use that equal JSP. So this is the uh, on message on message method. The moment the server send a message to this on message, sorry, uh, to client, this callback method will be called. And with that, I'm just doing some operation. Even if if you want to see an alert over here. it again so i'll just connect it and say hello now send message now the moment i send it it came here you can see the print uh, system print it says hello and instantly i am sending a message to server again so the alert has come over here we have put this alert in on message method uh, so it says hello from server and this is the basic thing like i am uh, Appending my um, message, whatever server I sent to my fan ID in my development. So let's say we we'll type something in. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so this way, this is very easy. Actually, we have achieved. Uh, 
uh, a bidirectional communication between server and client without using any third party libraries uh, so before websocket we have lot of libraries which through which we can uh, achieve this like server push or something so this is kind of uh, a server push uh, technique through which server is pushing message to client back uh, so there are few libraries through which we can achieve that atmosphere is one of them then we have bwr um then a lot of things are there but so so this everything is come out of box like we have we don't have, we don't have to use on uh, rely on any third party libraries so this is a basic example of uh, a web socket uh, demo on uh, get is web socket implementation and html5 web socket javascript api in my next session i'll talk about creating a chat application in jetty thank you